is the moment. Tonight is the night. Hey guys, it's Cryptomeo Analysis coming at you with an update video on Doggle on Mars. Uh, so obviously we had more of a sell-off this morning. Bitcoin broke under 60K. Uh, it looks like it wants to break under it, but I really don't know. Um, this was not unexpected. We obviously knew that if we were to go down, uh, the next target down was going to be between 16 and 17. And I do think that we did hit that. Yeah, so we hit 17. We haven't really broken down to 16 yet, so uh, that's still a good sign. So from the bottom to the high, as you can see, the 618 didn't quite tag it, but it is around 1660. Uh, so I do expect, obviously, with a you know move down, uh, that is probably going to push us a little bit over to the extremely oversold red area. So I do expect some sort of bounce back from there, hopefully, obviously. Um, but uh, just to keep things into perspective obviously last time we were here the price was around one and now we're at around 16 so that's still a 60 percent increase from the previous time that it was oversold and usually when we're in a bull run and when it does hit oversold we do recover and make a higher high obviously right because we can see it here and we made a um, higher low uh, so we are still technically bullish I, it sucks that again for everybody that accumulated down here Basically, our, our portfolio went up and then went back down uh, to exactly where it was. Um, and if you bought on the way up, that's unfortunate because that would mean that from that position down, uh, it probably washed your profits. And that's why you should never do that. You should always wait until it is extremely oversold because that is plenty of buying opportunity. That is the best buying opportunity that you can get is when it's oversold. So don't be impatient. Don't see your coin going up and then just like throwing your capital in because it's not, uh, because you you think you you know you need more coins or whatever else you're you're going through and you're thinking, uh, just play patient. Obviously, you already have a position. Wait until it goes up, or wait until it goes down and then buy more. So from the high to the low, as you can see, there's nothing bullish about this at all. Um, I do think that I do think that we are going to break out of this at some point. I mean, you know, yeah, I do think we are going to break out of this at some point, but I just, do I know when? No, I don't. Um, I'll even take accumulation and more sideways before we move up at this point. Um, but again, just know that the next level down is going to be around 12. That's the next area of support. So theoretically, if 16 doesn't hold, uh, then you're looking at a capitulation and a sell-off to 12, uh, which would be unfortunate. But again, uh, that would probably put this way more in the red than it will be at 16. Uh, so keep in mind, again, if you already have a position and if you want to buy more, then theoretically, the, you know, those are the targets. Those are the levels that are good buying opportunities. It's the 16 and then the 12. Um, now on the way up, no, we're not going to be bullish at all until we get over the two, two through six at 20. So at two, at around two. Um, so uh, yeah, sorry, that's not really good news. But again, we have to keep a clear headed mind. We have to stay focused on these levels because again, like just like how we just went up ridiculously high here, it's unfortunate that we fell back down. But next time this happens, who knows, it might actually be dog lawns. Uh, Dojalon's uh, bull market. So we might stay up here and then make the leg, next leg up, make the next leg up and so on. So keep that in mind. Now let's look at, uh, not their website, but yeah, their website still hasn't changed. It's still the same. Um, and no worries, I mean, it is what it is. Uh, now let's see if uh, anybody added coins. Uh, I do think crypto.com was at 192. Now they're at 993, so it looks like they added some. Uh, Binance Peg Token Wallet is still holding 13 trillion uh, with the last in transaction coming in four days ago at 69 billion. Uh, it is valued at around $2.3 million. So again, that's very good. Uh, we're, we're, we have a lot of history. We're not a rug pull. We're still, we're still in the green technically if you originally invested back here. Um, so again, the only people that are getting decimated are the people that accumulated it during the entire uh, bear market. Uh, but again, if you wait long enough and hopefully this goes back up, then it, it won't matter because you would have had, you would have made your money in 
made more. But again, it just also depends on how high you think it's gonna go, when you wanna sell, what you want. Like some people are holding this for the next 10 years. Some people are holding this for, you know, this next bull run or in two bull runs from now. So you just gotta do what's best for you. Uh, please like, subscribe, comment. Thank you so much for your support and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Hopefully there's some hopium there, but um, yeah, please like, subscribe, comment and I'll catch you guys in the next video.